Hey Coin Snatchers, before we jump into this episode, I want to let you know that I decided to create an exclusive listening and video bonus for all my listeners to join. You can become a book bay or business bay for only $5 a month. You will get access to additional podcast episodes and exclusive videos, along with blog posts of information that I want to share only with my BB Bays. So, Go on over to patreon.com backslash and Quanticock Smith and join today. I'll make sure I leave all the details in the description so you can join me as a BB Bay today. Welcome back to the Coins and Connections podcast, where we explore all things books, business, and bullshit, my favorite bees. Now let's get into today's episode. Hey guys, welcome back to the Coins and Connections podcast, season two, episode eight, Super excited about today because we have an update from Tasha Henry from episode 31, Style and Grace with the Good Vibe Collection. She is going to pop on with her update to tell you what has been going on with her personally and her business and how the pandemic has changed the way she does business. But, you know, before we get into the juicy topic of today, we are going to start with our rapid fire question of the day. It's time for our rapid fire question of the day. The rapid fire question of the day is, how would you describe yourself in three words? So me, I would describe myself as smiley, twerky, and crazy. I don't know if twerky is a word, but I am adding it to the cultural um, dictionary. Isn't that? We had a dictionary for black people or something like that. Well, if we do, I'm adding twerky in there because that's all I do. I twerk all day, every day. I should be like a size two from all the twerking that I be doing. (laughs) So that is the rapid fire question of the day. Don't forget to pop on over to our Instagram on Saturday to make sure you answer the rapid fire question as well. And now we're going to go ahead and get into our um, main topic. And we are going to hear from Tasha Henry of the Good Vibe Collection. Hey, beautiful people. This is Tasha, also known as Stylish Eye Diva, owner and creator of the Good Vibe Collection.com, which means to spread positive energy with style. So how has my business changed since last year? Well, Prior to COVID, we were traveling. I'm still assistant to Shum Nelson, and we were traveling monthly every other weekend. And so since COVID has come and paused everything, everything has resorted to online only access. So that has been actually pretty great for me because I've been able to help other women by um, giving them opportunity to spread positive energy with style via the Good Vibe bracelets and they make money now by doing it. So that has been really good and growing. I also started teaching vibes, which means I always get asked, um, how did I grow my Instagram? Um, What am I doing? So I created a mini course that shows people the five apps that I use to grow my Instagram with some tips and tricks. And also being transparent, I had to pause my brand ambassador opportunities because I felt like I was neglecting them and I don't like for people to feel as though they are not being, you know, treated with the most respect and getting attention that they need to to succeed in whatever it is they decided to join, especially dealing with me and the Good Vibe Collection. So for right now, I had to pause that. But um, so stay tuned. Maybe I might bring it back. I'm not sure yet because things have been, you know, kind of busy for me. So also since the last um, episode, I've manifested. um, I'm planning a wedding. Yes, me and my fiance decided to set a date and we are getting married next year. So we are in the midst of planning a wedding. So it's a black love story that's loading our black love story. 
And also, um, in the midst of all of this greatness in between, I am building more of my Good Vibe Tribe community via health, wellness, and, you know, wholesale beauty style. Um, I have new projects, which I recently, since COVID, decided to um, work out during my quarantine and change my health vibes and lose weight because my health is very important and I was neglecting that during the travel time. So I used the opportunity to become a TLC member, distributor, and since then I have lost 25 pounds since April and I decided to become a distributor because people started to ask me, you know, like, what are you doing? You know, how are you losing weight? So the products that I'm using, and I also exercise with KOF Fitness Live virtual training. And also I changed my eating, um, you know, exercising twice a day, three times a week. A lot has changed. So I'm just showing others, you know, my health vibe journey and people are welcome to join me via customer or team because it is still a business. Um, also, I am working on becoming an experienced uh, vibe uh vibe advisor basically which means is I feel as though um, our community needs to learn how to communicate in a more positive and effective way um, prior to you know Black Lives Matter and you know all of the the evil and negativity that's been going on in the world I feel like we as um, a black community uh, should learn how to communicate with each other so we can help each other better in a more positive light. So I've been working on vibe talks, which should be coming soon, uh, which means it's just basically my experience and my uh, views on how to communicate changing negatives to positives. So you can stay tuned for that. And I just want to thank you for having me, Coins and Connections, again, to, you know, give you guys an update. And in order to stay connected to the vibes, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Stylish Eye Diva and at The Good Vibe Collection. And you can check out my website, thegoodvibecollection.com. Or if you have any questions, you can email me at Tasha at thegoodvibebracelets.com. I appreciate you guys. Keep positive and keep spreading positive energy around the world because we need it. And basically, that is it for me. Bye. So I get asked a lot, how did you start your podcast? Where do I begin? How can I start a podcast? Well, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First of all, it's free. You know, I'm down with the free. There's a creation tool that allows you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Like, ain't nobody listening yet and you making money. How dope is that? It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So what are you waiting on? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. This segment is called Q Money Bag Thought of the Week. It is time for our Q Money Bags Thought of the Week. So this week, I want to talk about failure in business. I feel like this is a black hole or a topic that we just don't encourage people to talk about. Now, know that entrepreneurship is hard. Entrepreneurship is fun and sometimes entrepreneurship can be easy and it just you know you see all the glamour you see all the people making millions in 20 minutes you see you know people uh with their packages and their warehouse you see all of the good things but sometimes when you find those new people because of their success you don't see all of the bad things you don't see the negative bank accounts. You don't see the stress. You don't see the loss of friends and, and relationships. You don't see when they are crying or when they're trying to scrape two pennies together to get to the million in 20 minutes, right? You don't see that. Um, and that's not because of you, because a lot of people are showing and talking about their failures, but the culture is putting band-aids on it. Like, yeah, girl, you know, everybody goes through that. But 
in in reality, sometimes not everyone does have a hard time. So when someone posts their, their failure, they're just kind of letting you know that, you know, you may be the person on the other end of this failure right now. You may be the same exact person going through this. You may have a negative bank account right now and you're trying to figure out, will I get through this? And the answer is, honestly, it depends on you. I'm not even going to tell you, yes, you are, because it honestly depends on you. And then a lot of times when we fail, it is because of fault of our own. Sometimes we try to blame failures on the people that we bring around us or the apps we use or, you know, just trusting a bad designer or something. But sometimes, you know, it, it's really our fault. And we have to be woman and man enough to own that. Yeah, my business failed because of me. It wasn't because anyone else, because of, it was because of me. And a lot of times it's because we're trying to do too much. <laughs> we're, we're really trying to do too much when really we should delegate. But we can't because we don't have enough money to delegate. So we DIY. And there's nothing wrong with that. DIYing is going to teach you how to do it to an expert level. Okay? So the more you DIY it and you fail and you fuck it up and then you have to bring it back and you waste money and, and then you broke and then you try again. Maybe on the fifth time, you'll get it right and you'll no longer have to fail at that one thing. But most of the time, a failure is at our own fault and we can't blame anyone. But when people are honest and transparent um, and speaking their truth about their failure in business, it is not your place to um, coddle them. It's not your place to put a Band-Aid on uh, the struggle that they're going through. Some, sometimes people feel like you can just throw money at everybody else's failure. No, you can't. Because guess what? They'll never learn. And then when they're at another level of failure, at a higher level, and they keep making the same mistakes, it's because you kept throwing money at them trying to help them fix whatever they failed. But They'll keep doing the same thing over and over again because every time they announce their failures or whatever the case may be, you guys want to put a Band-Aid on it. So all those Band-Aids piling up. And when they get to a level what that they should be exceeding expectations, they should be above it all. They keep dropping the ball and making these same amateur mistakes is because everyone had already put Band-Aids on all of the past mistakes and they never learned. They just only learn to be, I'm not even going to say be pitiful, but that's how it feels. Be, um, I don't even know what the word for it, but it's a, it's a sob story. <laughs> that's what it is. It's a sob story. And then they fall into, you know, a path of every time I fail, I'm going to tell somebody because I know someone is going to come save me. You guys have to learn how to cut ties with people and let them figure it out. It's okay to figure stuff out on your own. You know, you know, as parents, we go through this as well, because sometimes we want to intervene with our kids' relationships and friendships. And we want us like, oh, I want to warn you, you know, but I feel like you only have to say it one time. And then when it happens, then you guys have an open di dialogue of, okay, so you remember when I told you about that? So now that you see it, how do you feel? So, you know, have a, have a, conversation <laughs> um, about, you know, just accepting. You only got to tell somebody something one time. I guarantee you they understand what you're saying. Do not like consistently go and put a bandaid on, coddle, and try to save them from what ultimately is something that they need to learn. So that is my Q Money Bags thought of the week. Um, we are almost through season two. I am just floored at where we are. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited. We have two more episodes after this. My life is so busy right now that I just don't even know where to start. Um, my break from the podcast will actually come in the midst of a big move. And I'll tell you guys more about that in the season finale. Um, but I want you guys to make sure you come back next episode because I will be doing a live reading of the weekend. I'm super excited. I did my last live reading of the, uh, a chapter from each of my books in the Journeys of the Heart series, and you guys seem to really enjoy that. Um, if you did not, just go back and I don't know what episode it is, but go back and check that out. 
Um, make sure you are tagging me when you're listening. Um, share it on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. At Twitter, we're like at Coins and Connect. Um, I'm just super excited. We are on the road to 10,000 downloads. So that's amazing. Um, I set small goals and they are just blowing me away at the things that I can accomplish when I focus and I'm consistent. So if that little word was for you, um, let me be a vessel, you know, just come on in the room, let the God use me to, to just, you know, send you that room, uh, room, send you that uh, message. But until next time, guys. Thank you guys so much for listening and subscribing. Don't forget to share and leave a review for this podcast. If you have any questions, you can email me at hello at cinquantacocksmith.com. You can follow me on Instagram at cinquantacocksmith and at coinsinconnections.com. My websites are www.cinquantacocksmith.com and www.coinsinconnections.com. You can join my Facebook group at Books Plus Business with Cinquantacocksmith. Quanta Cox Smith. I love you more than I love this podcast. Peace.